everything handed to him. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We used to have a work ethic. Hallelujah. Amen. We used to have our mind made up that we were going to be somebody. But now, hallelujah, we're trying to assimilate and be like everybody else. And it, even though it's a blessing to be where we are right now, we gained something, but we also lost something. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to express or propose to you that anything that you have achieved, amen, anything that you have learned, and I even dare to say anything that you received from God has come as a result of a challenge. Hallelujah. Nothing comes easy. Rest assured, you will be tested. The question is, what will you do with the test? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's amazing to think that, amen, some people think that just because God has made them a promise or has had someone to speak into their lives prophetically, amen, concerning things which are to come, that they can simply go home, sit on the couch, and wait for it to show up. Hallelujah. But I want to let you know that just as you heard the word over your life, the devil heard it too. Hallelujah. He's going to do whatever he can to keep the word of God from coming to pass in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, when you get a word from the Lord, that's a time to rejoice. When God made you a promise, that's a time to rejoice. But it's also a time to prepare for battle. Hallelujah. It's also a time to prepare for battle because the devil is going to come up against you. Hallelujah. But I come to let you know that you are a victorious soldier. Hallelujah. You already have the victory. All you have to do is walk in it. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil works by trying to plant, amen, a seed of doubt in your heart. Hallelujah. Which, if you're not careful, can cause you to waver in your faith and begin to doubt the very God that you serve. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But if you're going to get anything from God, you got to have more, amen, than, 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 just, than just the word. Hallelujah. Thank God for the word, but you got to have more than that. You got to put action with the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for the word that he gave me, but the word only came to me to build up my faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible said that faith without work is dead. Hallelujah. So I take what he's giving you, mix it with my faith, and I will get the miracle. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together and shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When I began to think about challenges, I, my mind went back to, amen, Mary, the mother of Jesus. Amen. This was a young woman, amen, who received a word from an angel who came to her and told her that she was going to, amen, bear Amen. A son conceived of the Holy Ghost. Now, when she heard this word, hallelujah, amen, Mary had a dilemma. Because Mary, amen, we all know she was engaged to be married to Joseph. Hallelujah. And when, amen, she became pregnant, hallelujah, they had not been married yet. So her dilemma was she had to figure out, hallelujah, how she was going to tell Joseph what was going on. And beyond that, she had to worry about what was going on in society and in her culture. Amen. The people found out that she was pregnant. Amen. Before she was married. Amen. Joseph could have put her away and the people could have stoned her. Hallelujah. Yet she overcame the psychological, social, and cultural barriers and came to the conclusion that the will of God in my life is more important than anything else. Hallelujah. The will of God in my life is more important than what anybody thinks. It's more important, amen, than what anybody has to say. It's more important, amen, than the applause and accolades of man. The word of God being realized in my life is the most important thing that I have. Hallelujah. And even though Mary realized, hallelujah, that what God was doing in her life was of utmost importance, I'm sure there were those who still tried to assassinate her character and kill her spirit. Yet she persevered through the challenges she was going through, amen, to have the purpose and the will of God completed in her life. And she said, be it unto me, Jesus, hallelujah. Be it unto me, hallelujah. And sometimes you have to be the same way. Sometimes people don't like your work. They don't like what God is doing in your life. How do they want you to, amen, to take down on your stand, take down on your testimony, but you have to come to the mindset that regardless of who says what, who does what, what God has for me, it is for me, and I want it. Come on and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm hurting along here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been thinking and meditating on adversity all week long. Hallelujah. And last night I went to a concert, and some of the artists there, 
Amen. They began to speak about their testimony. Amen. This concert, amen, was like unlike any I had ever been to before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This was a Christian rock concert. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They don't, they don't go to concerts. They don't go to church like we go. Hallelujah. They don't dress up in a suit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They don't have on their backs. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you saw them in the street, you wouldn't even think they was going to church. Hallelujah. But yet they have a testimony and they really love God. Hallelujah. Some of them have really been through some things. Amen. So some of the artists, they began, amen, to talk. And, and I began, amen, to kind of write down and think and meditate on what they were saying because God had been talking to me. Amen. About adversity all week long. Amen. Hallelujah. So as things were coming to me, I was just taking them. Hallelujah. Amen. Now these people there at this concert, they, amen, were singing in front of thousands of people. This was at the Palace of Auburn Hills. Amen. Sold out to the rafters. Hallelujah. Amen. 20,000 people. They were singing, amen, to all these people. They traveled all over the country on tour. Amen. And to look at them, you would think, amen, they got it all together. Amen. You would think that they never really been through nothing. Hallelujah. They got smiles on their face. Hallelujah. They worship God. Hallelujah. Like, like nothing is bothering them. But one of the brothers began to talk and he began to say, amen, that he got married, amen, in October of the year 2000. Amen. And in February of 2001, his wife died. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He went through, amen, something serious. Hallelujah. But he didn't allow that to stop him. Amen. He, Yeah, he got depressed. He cried a little bit. But he shook that thing off and let the devil know that you're not going to stop my ministry. Amen. You're not going to stop what God has for me. Amen. I'm going on in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, this thing hurt me, but the God I serve is even bigger than the hurt I'm going through. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Another man began to speak of how, amen, he was born to a mother that he had never seen before. Amen. He was born, amen, to amen, a woman that was, amen, not of a very good lifestyle. Hallelujah. He had never seen her, but he knew about her. And what he knew was that when he was born, his mother was insane. Hallelujah. She didn't even have, amen, a right mind. Hallelujah. And not only that, she was a prostitute. So he didn't even know who his father was. Now that wasn't bad enough. He was adopted. And after he was adopted, amen, the family that adopted him decided to abuse him. Hallelujah. They burned him with cigarettes. They molested him, pushed him down steps, amen, knocked him unconscious, and they, they bet on how long it would take him to wake up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, hallelujah, he did finally see his birth mother at one instance 